Well, the Helmeted Honey Eater Recovery Program has been going for 20 years now and Hills Hill Sanctuary has been involved pretty much from the beginning and our job is basically to breed as many birds in captivity as we can and we then release those offspring when they're immatures into the wild sites both here at Yellingbow and out at Tonnenbuck, which is in Bunyip State Park. Helmeted honey eaters are quite particular about the habitat they live in and they like the riparian or streamside vegetation. So they live around the swampy areas here at Yellingbow and they feed a lot on the swamp gums and mountain swamp gums and there's also an understory of banksia here which is very important as a food source for them as well. We do do supplementary feeding at both wild sites as well. The habitat has deteriorated over many decades out here and we do find that we need to give them a little bit of artificial nectar as well just to help them through, particularly in winter when there's less food about naturally. So we have lots of great volunteers from Friends of the Helmeted Honey Eaters that come out regularly and put food into feed stations and the birds do make the most of those feed stations. There's a field ornithologist that's involved in the recovery program by the name of Bruce Quinn and he basically is responsible for monitoring the wild population. So he spends most of his week out at both Tonnenbach and here at Yellingbow and he spends lots of hours walking through the bush and through the swamps with a pair of binoculars and whenever he sees a bird he makes note of the leg band colours on that bird because every bird has an individual identification in that they have different coloured leg band combinations so he can keep track of who's about and which feed stations they're using, which birds are associating with each other and also who's pairing up with who, who's produced which young. There's now about 60 to 70 birds here at Yellingbow and around about 60 at Tonnenbuck. The recent Victorian bushfires came within about 300 metres of our release sites at Tonnenbuck which was obviously extremely close. We were very lucky in that we didn't lose any of the occupied habitat, so none of the bush in which the birds are currently living in was burnt, but the fires did burn some of the potential habitat that those birds may well move into in the future. So we'll need to wait for that to regenerate before those birds are going to move out into those areas now. But we were very lucky in that, as far as we know, we didn't lose any birds to that fire. Bruce Quinn went out the next day after Black Saturday and he counted about as many birds as he normally would in a weekly count. So we were really relieved that we hadn't lost anything. When we release the birds, the juveniles out into the wild, we bring them out to release aviaries at each site first. So they'll spend a week in an aviary at the site getting used to their surroundings and also getting to interact with the wild birds. We hope that they'll create a bit of a bond between themselves and the wild birds so when they get released they can actually hook up with those groups of birds that already know this area and know where the feed sites are. And after that week's up we'll go in and actually catch all the birds up, check them over one more time to make sure they're all happy and healthy and then we walk outside with them and everyone, all the volunteers that come out here and help doing feeding and people involved in the program get to basically release a bird so we each person gets to hold a bird in their hand and then on the count of three we basically let them all go and we spend the rest of the day then watching them so everyone sits around the feeders with binoculars or walks through the swamp and tries to keep a track of those birds and find out where they're going have they found the feeders and have they found other wild birds to hang around with and so working in a local conservation program like this you get to see the results of what you do. So we're breeding birds that we're releasing into the wild. So every year we help increase the population and we can be very much involved in that program in coming out and helping monitor these wild populations and just watch it grow. So you really feel like you're making a difference in the world of conservation. Mm -hmm.